Hello, everybody. I'm back. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to upload yesterday because I was sick. You probably can't hear in my voice, but I'm currently sick. What a way to start out the new year. <laughs> Let's go. Getting shitted on. What a way to start a new damn year. Anyways, this is a new episode of the, the, of the Imperial Night Project or... Well, I'll, I'll just call it the call it Project Imperialis. I think it's one of the the night faction to serve the Imperium, not the mechanic is. I could be wrong on that. On this episode, I'm gonna review the the progress on the right arm or armaments. These bastards. See, it's a plenty of armament options for the right arm. Mm, in, intestines. No, I'm kidding. Where's the stay? Ignore that. I should probably cover that. Like, this was this was the, the the Gauss cannon based on the Gauss cannon off of the Gauss tanks. Yeah, the the Gauss tanks from Crisis. A crisis franchise or a crisis game. I don't remember. All I know. All I do know that is a, a, a tank from one of the crisis games. I think Crisis 2, maybe? This is just uh, the black hole cannon based off the, the gravity cannon from 30k. Specifically the Leviathan graph. Gravity cannon. I think that's what it what it's called. I'll put images on the screen to show the basis of these weapons. <laughs> this is just a variation of of this, based off the space cannon from Project Harp. I think it's called. It was some like Cold War project. Designed in like the, during the 1960s or 70s to shoot satellites into space. That's a real project, by the way. I think it was NASA who built the gun and just aim in space and pew! And shoot satellites up there. This stands. It's not one that's safe focus. This is the the main gun, the main armament for the Imperial Knight, based off the Hildolfer, Hildolfer, whatever you want to call it, the, the, the Hildolfer tank from Gundam. You, this railgun based on the railgun tank, the barrel of the railgun, yet. Build a railgun tank from Battlefield 2042 and the muzzle brakes based on the railguns from the Crisis suits of the Tau from 40k. You probably, you gotta probably realize that most, if not all, of these uh, options are either based off the certain design of someone else. Or a combination of multiple designs mashed into one, mixed with a few of my ideas. Like, for example, this. The main barrel is like a, a variation of this. This, the main barrel is based off a gun from Strike Thrills 3 mech, the boss fight. That's inspired off of that. And these on the sides, and this is, is original. So most, if not all, are either inspired or designed around these other designs with sprinkle in a few of my original ideas. This Gatling Cannon from the Imperial Knights Gatling Cannon, the Burt Gun, Muzzle Brake Fall, oh, there it is, Plasma Cannon from the Imperial Knights Plasma Cannon. Actually, more accurately, this is the, the plasma cannon based off the STL files from another of a, a plasma cannon, STL files, someone else. 
I can't speak today. My English bad. Pew. This oversized 120 millimeter rifle tank gun. Rapid fire, based on the a uh, not, not not specifically based on Pacific tank barrel. It's just a standard M120 millimeter rifle gun off of some sort of tank. This big old rocket launcher based off the M551 shared, I think it's called. Some sort of Cold War rocket tank, but designed by the US during 1970s or 80s, not sure. This last cannon based off the the last guns from 40k mixed with other stuff in here. And these these are just like the like the the shell injection just fuel after each shot's fired. So these are just inject shells. And here are the different ammo types for these different armaments like this is for the where where this is for the plasma gun slash or the las gun these this is for the gatling cannon or whatever this is this, this this is for like the like the rail gun something like the carousel auto loader there's <laughs> a whole lot of auto loader on on the arm ah yes a a carousel auto loader on the arm fully exposed what could go wrong what can go wrong? Different ammo box, ammo design boxes. Boop. What is it? Boop. More shell injections. More ammo types. I think I already showed this. I think these are a few of the muzzle brakes in here. Yeah, I think so. I might add some detail. If this is a muzzle break, I might add some more details of this. And now, you got like, like the, the, the belt fed options. Belt fed. Four. <laughs> Have you guys seen a belt, a 120 millimeter belt fed cannon? No. That's why I want to make one. Is it practical? Absolutely not. Is it realistic? Also, absolutely not. Is it cool to see? Maybe, maybe. Obviously, you shoot, you shoot the belt, the the belt, and chain reaction goes off. Everything explodes. Who does not want to see a belt-fed 180 millimeter rail gun? Obviously, this is for the, the energy type weapons slash the the plasma slash last thing. Where are they? What's the last? Here it is. Belt-fed last cannon. Again, is it practical? No. Is it realistic? No. Is it cool? Maybe. Maybe. And that will be it for the right arm armaments. Hopefully by tomorrow I'll get the left arm armaments done. But I have to add some detail to that. And also fix up the detail on some of these weapons, especially this one right here, like a, like a flower. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.